cut off the heads of 131 lords. He was the greatest samurai in the empire. And he took me with him. I'm going to be doing something a little bit differently today. Normally, I try to take time and craft a well-constructed narrative, but in order to prove a point, I'm gonna be doing this on the fly. So it's gonna be a little bit sloppy. Uh, there may be a couple small edits because I have family moving around above me, um, occasional dog barking, and uh, one bastard of the party keeps hitting me up with uh, YouTube notifications. And so I might edit around that a little bit, uh, unless it's not too intrusive. But you can see uh, it's 10 a.m., just after 10 a.m. here on Saturday morning. And I'm gonna see what I can do to do this in just one take for you. Uh, so, because I have a situation here where a little education about a subject could go a long way. In response to my video showing how distance from an object can um, distort its appearance, Ma Maxon Florville uh, said that um, if I wanted to get uh, evidence that pictures were not real, see this video. And that's this video right here. Uh, it's a video showing that if you took an image off a NASA website, let's just go ahead. If you took a video off this NASA website and you tweaked the levels a bit, uh, you would end up with these uh, archives, not this line that he is here. The, let's see, these archives around it, and he says that these archives uh, are evidence that uh, this was cropped in. Look at that perfect, you know, geometric shape around it. That that the Earth, the Earth was cropped and placed in here afterwards. As uh, Maxon put it, um, he's replicated this himself, and this is uh, evidence that when a box like this shows up in an object in Photoshop, it means it was cropped and placed there. And uh, as a graphic designer, I should know this. Now, as a pro professional, I look at this, and I can see right off the bat what caused it. Anyone who processes images for the web on a regular basis can tell. These are archives uh, as a result of image compression, JPEG image compression. Images for the web are uh, compressed to greater or lesser degrees depending on the file size needs. Uh, so I asked F uh, Maxon uh, if, uh, if I could show that his statement was wrong, would he entertain the idea of it being real? And he said he would if I could re really reproduce the effect. He told me not to just like go outside and take some picture with stuff in my own things in the background. So really reproduce the effect. So here goes. In this video, they go to a very specific photo uh, at this uh, kind of deep amongst uh, NASA websites. Uh, and I don't know why they chose this one in particular, except for the fact that this is the picture that they always use when they're doing this, uh, this bit of uh, uh, demonstration. And I say always use because this isn't an original uh, concept. Even though this video was just put up last month, uh, I've seen this process done before. It's been happening for years, as, and it's always this video, this um, this image. As you can see here, here's one from the um, Flat Earth Society. Uh, I don't know, it's a website or something. Uh, and they talk about the exact same thing. Here's that exact same image at the same location, and uh, they go through the same process, showing the same type of archives. Uh, and so it's not an original thing. Oh, but they also, which is really important, they also show an example of what a real image would look like when you tweak the levels. As you can see, it has this kind of uniform uh, noise going on with kind of bands and glowing that's near the, um, the oh, it looks like a, one bastard up there, so I'm gonna just clear that away. Uh, with glowing near and, and some bands, but it's uniform. It's not these boxy shapes around things. And that, that's what they're saying. Uh, a real image should look like, and that's important. So let's go to the uh, image that they gave, go through the process, make sure that they weren't faking what they did, which I know they weren't. I've, I've seen this before. Um, so first let's reproduce what they did. So I'm gonna go to the link that they gave, which is this one right here uh, for this image, and I'm going to just download this puppy uh, onto my hard drive right there. Now I'm gonna take this image, I'm gonna bring it over here into Photoshop. And here it is. And I'm just gonna do what they did. So I'm just gonna tweak the levels. I don't need to put an adjustment layer on there because I don't care about turning it on and off. I can just show you this here. So I'm gonna tweak the levels. And nothing happens at first. And then as we get closer and closer toward uh, zero here, 
uh, archives start to appear. You can see archives are beginning to appear around. That little shape starting to happen. I'm going to go all the way down and then boom, as you can see, that's the exact same result that they got. I'm going to say OK and I'm going to zoom in here so you can see this kind of geometric uh, thing happening over here. So they weren't faking what they did when they uh, when they did this process. And that's the only reason I, why, I, why I did this. So I'm just going to go, uh, go back uh, there and I'm going to undo that. So, but that's not a big deal. Question is, can I show that it wasn't done by cutting and pasting something in there? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing. Uh, here we go. Now, I don't know why they go to this image here. I don't particularly, you know, it's obviously been processed. So I'm going to go to the NASA video, the NASA image archives and pull up the exact same uh, shot. And so that's this one right here, right here. Now it's a higher quality one. Uh, there's more detail that hasn't, the, the levels are obviously different on it. Uh, hasn't been processed as much. It's got to be processed a little bit. It was put on the web, but it hasn't been processed to the same degree. So this one should be a good example of uh, how things work. Uh, so I'm going to take this one and I'm going to bring it down onto my machine. It's this one right here. Uh, it's got HR on the end of it. And I'm going to bring that into Photoshop. Okay. And first, just to see what this one looks like without tweaking it all, is I'm going to uh, do the levels, just like the other one did. So I'm going to bring it in, 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 bring it in and here we are. Now, as you can see, that's very different for, than uh, what the other uh, image did. This has more uniform noise, kind of glowing noise around it. There's a little bit of a little flex here and there because this was processed for the web to a certain degree. But it doesn't have those geometric uh, shapes, that clear border of something having been cropped uh, and put in there. It reflects actually very closely to what uh, the other people said is what a real image should look like. Look at that uniform noise all over the place, more glowing around the objects. That's what we see here. This actually reflects what a real image should look like. But let me show, my point is to prove that it wasn't for cropping. It's because of something else. So I have to, in order to prove that, I have to go through this, the process and show that it can be done uh, to get that same effect. So first, let me undo this. Now, first thing, let's bring these things up side to side. So what I need to do is make my image match the other image as much as possible. I'm going to bring these guys up side by side. Right here. Uh, here's the one that was cross used in the demonstration video. And this is the one from the NASA image archives. Okay. so. As you can see right off the bat, the levels on this one are, are a lot different. So I'm, first I'm going to just do a little process in order to uh, get this one to match this one as much as possible. So I'm going to tweak the levels a little bit. I'm going to bring the black point up until, until it matches as good as I can see, just eyeballing it. That's pretty good. Let's just do that there. I'm not going to mess with this too much. I don't know how much the other one was processed, but I'm just not going to not going to do too much because I, I can't really tell. But it looks like the, the white point may be a little bit more, but let's just try that there. Now, the other thing we have to notice is that this image from the website that was used in the video uh, is only 1,041 pixels wide, while this one used on the NASA website besides, is... 2300 and something pixels wide. So I'm going to bring this thing down to 1041 pixels wide. There. And so let's uh, bring that guy up. So visually they're about the same size now. Okay. Now I'm going to save this out. I'm going to save it. And I'm just going to call it B because that'll be easier to remember. And then I'm going to use JPEG compression. Save. Now how much compression should I give this thing? Well, let's take a real quick look. And if we look at the original image from the uh, video, it has, it's a file size of 83K compared to my file size of 665K. So I'm gonna bring 
my file size down to my new picture, I'm going to compress it so it's smaller, so get it closer. Uh, right now the file size, if I were to leave it at 9, uh, would be 196K, so I'm going to compress it a little bit more than that. That's 131. I'm going to bring it, oh, 104. Let's, let's give them a little benefit of that. We'll put it at level 5 here, uh, 115K. All right. I'm also going to uh, give it a progressive scan and say OK on there. Now, I'm going to close that file out. Open the file, the new file up, because I don't want to use any of the history. I want to use the compressed file. So here we have our new compressed file right here. Uh, now let's try that same action. So I'm going to go levels. And I'm going to start tweaking the white point. Bring it down, bring it down, bring it down. And as you can see, as we get down here, boom. There we go. Let's hit OK. Look at that. It's a very geometric type area around it. It's not the exact same one because I didn't go through the same processing that uh, the other image did. I don't know what processing they did. I don't know what the real compression level was. But you can see just from tweaking the levels and giving a JPEG compression to get it down to a decent size, these archives showed up. And just to show once again, let's go back to the original claim, which is here. I'm going to bring it down there. It's okay. Bring these guys side by side. So there's that one. And there's that one. So not the exact same because I didn't have the exact same process. But as you can see, the um, archives and remnants that show up on my image closely reflect those showing up on the other ones. And it is due purely to JPEG compression and image processing, not because the earth was copied and paste it into the photo. Thank you very much. Bye. That's my job. That's what I do. I don't lose. I win. I win. Is there no one on this planet to even challenge me? Maybe you came by to congratulate me on last night's victory.